This intersection, Clinton and Monroe, was blocked off by other vehicles while drivers did donuts right out here in the middle of the intersection. You can still see the tire marks, and it didn't end here. Intersection mayhem at 1.45 Sunday morning. Defiant drivers doing donuts in the middle of the road while others block the surrounding streets. Spectators seeming to play chicken with another vehicle spinning wildly around in circles. Police outmanned, unable to stop it. It is an absolute recipe for disaster. And it is just a matter of time before we're going to see people killed in these incidents. After police managed to disperse the crowd, some of them went to the rooftop of this parking garage in the 1100 block of South Canal. Tire marks show evidence of drag racing and drifting. Police arrested one teenager who threw fireworks at officers. These incidents just the latest acts of lawlessness that prompted the new ordinance to allow police to impound vehicles involved. If you look at these videos of the drifting incidents where cars are spinning in circles. Um, they're almost always surrounded by a couple of hundred people in a crowd. And then sometimes even people inside of this circle lighting fires and shooting off fireworks. Things like this are happening in our streets. It's happening all over. Like you said, on north side, south side, uh, west side, downtown, it, it's just, you know, blazing lawlessness. If police can identify a vehicle involved in drag racing or drifting, they would have to notify the driver of the city's intent to impound the vehicle. The owner would be given three options to contest it. If they could show the vehicle was not in the city at the time of the incident, if the vehicle was reported stolen, or if the license plates don't match the vehicle description. City leaders want to put dangerous drivers on notice. We want people to be able to um, enjoy the city, but they've got to do it in a way that is safe. I think when people start seeing their vehicles uh, impounded, they're going to realize there are real consequences for this activity. The ordinance was unanimously approved in committee today. It is expected to come up for a vote before the full city council on Wednesday. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.